This is a uh, review for the iPod, iPad app, Farmer Market. The app has really bad reviews on um, iTunes. Parents saying that it's just a nag screen to sell the, put advertising to sell books that the company sells and um, that it's worthless, it doesn't do anything, it's only two pages. And after reading the reviews, I have to say that um, I went looking on YouTube to see if there was a video before I bought it. And then I read all the reviews and it's a free app. It's free, there's ads, but you can upgrade it. And everybody seemed to have downloaded the free version and then gave it the horrible reviews. Um, I'm going to show you why this is an excellent app for young autistic children, nonverbal um, autistic children of any age, uh, if they're still just learning. Um, th this app only does a few things, granted, but it only needs to do a few things. It, color it covers counting, colors, produce identification, and it does it in a way that relates to autistic children. The counting app... One, two, three, Also does colors. Pink, purple, yellow, green, brown, blue, red, black, white. And produce identification. Carrot, apple, eggplant, pear, grapes, peppers, pomegranate, tomato, banana, potato, onion, cucumber. And the only beef that you might have with it is that the pronunciation is a little bit off for American pronunciation. Slightly British pronunciation of peppers and tomatoes. So, I mean, that's minor. To me, it's not a big deal. But this is the part that is really great. For a young autistic child, nonverbal, which I like to say preverbal, they hum all day. They make a lot of different sounds, um, babbling and humming, two very different types of communication. And that's what the characters do. This was the big beef of parents that these people just grunt or moan and they don't, they don't have any redeeming benefits. That's not true. That is a whole sentence, and I hear those kind of whole sentences a lot from my young grandson, have been for years. Um, if you listen carefully, you can pretty much figure out what they're saying, even though there are no words. It, it requires you to really pay attention to the child. <sighs> that sound we have heard thousands of times. It's times. It's the sound of approval. It's the sound of, this is good. I like this. I like what we're about to do. <sighs> and it's the sound we hear every time we pull into the driveway of Red Robin, the favorite restaurant destination for my grandson. <clears throat> Thoughtful. I'm thinking about this. I don't know. This is interesting. Sure, okay. What we're hearing is the complete vocabulary of a preverbal child. The sounds that they make that actually are their only form of communication. And as a parent or caregiver, you learn what those sounds mean, and you can tell whether somebody, the child, is happy or not happy. Um, this child may be eight years old and still at this level of uh, evolution. Um, but typically, a two to three year old, early intervention, nonverbal, autistic child is going to be making these kind of sounds. So when they come to this program, right away, it's communicating in a way that they understand. And it's adding the, the preliminary things that toddlers learn in preschool. OK? 
counting to 10, colors, and vegetables, produce, um, things that they can relate to. It doesn't overwhelm them. There's, it's a very simple process, very simple concepts, and, and it's got soothing music in the background, the, the wildlife sounds. It, it really is just a perfect little program. Um, you're not having to worry about navigating to the next page, navigating to the next level. It doesn't overwhelm you with all that. For a first program, if you just picked up an iPad, iPod, iPhone, whatever, this should be the first app that you download. This is a great way to learn about TAP and to learn the basics. Um, I give this app five stars. I'm probably the only person who's downloaded it as a parent that has given it five stars. I think you should take a chance. I think you should try it.